I'm Sanchit Mehra and today I would be discussing about one problem on lead code which is we have to find the total area of the two rectilinear rectangles. So, so the problem states is uh, given the coordinates of two rectilinear rectangles in a 2D plane within the total area covered by the two rectangles. So uh, we have given the denotion of how the rectangle is defined. So in a coordinate system, they have given us the bottom left corner denoted by AX1, AY1, which is this one and the top right corner, which is this one. And for the second rectangle as well, we have this, you can say bottom left corner, which is BX1, BY1 and again the top right corner BX2, BY2. Now we have to find the area that is covered by two rectangles. So this is one of the examples that they have given and they have taken one good case in which these two rectangles are overlapping. So given a case that these two rectangles are overlapping, there can be one more case in which the two rectangles do not overlap. But to generalize the, the formula, I would say that I would, I would first calculate an area of this first rectangle and would calculate the area of this rectangle. Let's say I call it as R2 and I call this first rectangle as R1. So the total area would become the area of first rectangle plus the area of second rectangle. But now I see that this, the overlapping rectangle that is formed here is, has come two times. So, and I need to subtract this one time so that it is counted. It comes only, it, it is counted as one time only. Okay. So, so, uh, the the formula here would be total area would be the area of rectangle one plus area of rect two and I would subtract the area of overlapping rectangle okay so so uh, it could be a case that the area of overlapping rectangle would be zero that means the two rectangles do not overlap in that case, the total area would become the sum of area of both the rectangles. But in case it is overlapping, so that's overlapping area is covered in this as well as in this. So when it comes two times, I have to subtract it again so that it come it is counted as a one time only. Okay, so um, this one is easy. The calculation of area of rectangle one and individual calculation of area of individual rectangles that's quite easy so and the majority majority of the problem lies in calculating this area of overlapping rectangle okay so let's be quick in calculating the area of rect one that would be uh, this would be I can say uh, ax2 minus ax1 here so it's it's simple it's length into width it's the length across x axis and the length across the y axis and you just multiply it and get the area that simple formula so it would be ax2 minus a x1 multiply by the you can say a y2 minus a y1 that's simple similarly uh, the area of second rectangle uh, it would be what so it uh, the, so the second rectangle the orange colored one it would be again it would be bx2 minus px1 so bx2 minus bx1 that's the length across this and i multiply it with um i should get this as by2 minus by1 so it's by2 minus by1 okay so i have this area of rect1 and area of rect2 now the problem comes is calculating the area of overlapping rectangles okay so now let's discuss about this let's have some drawing so it's clear so let's say um, this is the coordinates let me be let me make it with green color uh, this would be fine 
so let's have this coordinate system here and let me draw this rectangle which is the first rectangle here and let me draw the second rectangle with this okay so now um, I need to calculate an area that is overlapping okay and the same way we calculated the area of the first rectangle we knew the coordinates of this one and we knew the coordinates of this we can calculate the area that is covered here and the uh, the the length the length of this and the length of this and we multiply it and we get the area of complete uh, complete rectangle but now the problem comes is that we want to calculate an area of this overlapping so i need to calculate this point and this point okay so let me call it as let's say um I call it as x1 comma y1 okay and let me call it as let's say x2 comma let's say y1 so i can i can i can i have to calculate the value of say majorly here is x2 and x1 so one thing i can see here is that um one one thing i can see here is um this value i can see this value the the x value of this would be the you can say would be the maximum of this one and this one okay and this value would be the you can say the minimum of this and minimum of this okay so i can get this value i can get this value i can subtract x2 minus x1 and i get the width here okay of the overlapping triangle now the same would hold across the y axis so or you can say mm, uh, if i want to calculate the the, the this length and, and and the value of y here and i want to calculate uh, basically the now the length of this so i need to know the value of y at this axis and at this axis okay so similarly if i say this axis this is the you can say um maximum value of y here and the maximum value of y here okay and i if i need to calculate the value of this here or value of y here it it is it is the minimum of uh, this value and this value okay so in this way when i when i when i uh, when can, when i get the value at here at here i just have to subtract this from this and i i will get the value of the width here okay so let me call it as delta y and let me call it as delta x so delta x multiply by delta y would give me the area of the overlapping rectangle here okay so it could be possible here that my two rectangles do not overlap here okay so how we would be covering this edge case so when you would be finding you would be finding here and you take these two values and you take the value of x here and you x1 here and you take this value at x2 and when you will be starting to get the uh, maximum the maximum value would be here would be x2 here okay and you need and then you will be taking this one and this one so if you uh, take the what you say as uh, the the minimum so the minimum would be here which you can say as least let's say x3 and let's call it as x4 so this would be x3 so now when you would be subtracting it the value would be negative here so if the value is negative the two rectangles is not intersecting and the area would equals to zero so the answer should never be negative if it is positive then only the two rectangles are overlapping and we can calculate the area otherwise if any of the calculation between the x-axis and the y-axis of taking the min and max 
if they are getting the negative value then the area is zero so now let's begin and program this so let me call it as uh, i need to calculate this one so let me let calculate uh, let me calculate the x value here so it would be the let's say um i i i call it as let's say uh, left most x okay so how can i get the let me do this and how can i get the left mod x here is i need to calculate the um the maximum of the value of x here and the value of x here so it would be std of max and it would be i would take it as this this is would be ax1 and bx1 so it would be ax1 comma bx1 and let me calculate the rightmost uh, or you can say the rightmost uh, value of x of the overlapping rectilinear rectangle so it would be rightmost x and how would i be getting the value of x here this is the you can say the minimum of this value and this value so minimum of this value and this value would give me the rightmost edge or the rightmost uh, uh, x value of the overlapping rectilinear rectangle so i have to take the minimum here minimum of the max so the it would be the on the rightmost side it is ax2 comma uh, it is now bx2 okay now i have to take about think about the topmost uh, value here and the topmost y value here okay so it would be it's if 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 i have to calculate the value of y here so it would be it would be taking the minimum of this value of a y2 and b y2 okay so it would be int top post underscore y equals the and so this is uh, it would be the min of a y2 comma b y2 and similarly the bottom most it would be the max okay so this one or this one so so this uh, this would be a y1 and this would be b y1 so max of a y1 and b y1 which would be a y1 would be the bottom most value of the y axis okay of the overlapping rectilinear so bottom most underscore y it would be max of a y1 comma b y1 okay so this is the thing basically now i have to calculate now i i know i know the x value here x value here y value here and y value here so i just need to calculate this length and this length and I can multiply that and get the area of overlapping rectangle. So I'll call it as delta underscore x and I would subtract the rightmost x minus leftmost x. So it would be this minus this and I will call it as delta underscore y. I would subtract the topmost x topmost y with bottommost y so it would be topmost x y minus bottommost underscore y and now the area overlapping rect would be delta underscore x multiply by delta underscore y okay so I now have an area of rectangle area of rectangle one area of rectangle two and the area of overlapping rectangle but there is one problem here okay 
I need to know whether this delta x and delta y are positive. So that's why they are overlapping only if they are positive. So check for overlapping condition here. So my overlapping condition should be that uh, delta underscore x should be greater than zero and delta underscore y should also be greater than zero in that case my overlapping rectangle would have my my rectangles would overlap and they would be having some value else the value would be zero here so i initialize it with zero here in case they are not positive of if if anyone is negative this condition would fail and since the rectangles would not overlap the area would be counted as zero so now the sum of total area would be area of rect one plus area of rect two and if they are overlapping they would be having this area which has come twice here so i would be subtracting it here and at the last i would return total area so this is my code basically so what i've done is calculation of the both areas and then i have taken i've calculated the delta x and the delta y for these two rectangles to overlap they have to be a positive value if they are positive i'm calculating the area else if delta x or delta y is negative the the they are not overlapping and the area of overlap is zero okay so the way i have calculated is i've calculated the leftmost x here which is this one okay so the value of this would be this would come as what you call uh, the, if, if you want to know the value of x here of this overlapping rectilinear so this would be the maximum value of ax1 and bx1 so you you will come this and to know the value of this uh, this would be th the minimum of this one and this one so the minimum of bx2 and ax2 so this would be the minimum okay so when you subtract the rightmost x with the leftmost x you get the width here similarly for the y here uh, if you want to know the value of y here so it would be the minimum of a y2 and b y2 and the bottommost y which is hit this value so again this is the maximum of b y1 here and a y1 here okay so now you get this bottommost y here okay so this is the thing and so for the delta delta uh, y you just subtract the topmost y with the uh, bottommost y you get this so you got the delta x and the delta y multiply it if they are overlapping if they are positive you get the overlapping rectangle and you just subtract it both times so let's run this code and see so this answer is accepted here so this was the thing and output is 45 expected is 45 and let's submit this code wow the answer is accepted here so congratulations so i hope the this question is clear to you and the solution that we have found is clear to you a very simple approach so many a times users thinks or a students thinks that you need to cal start thinking about calculating about the coordinates whether they are lying inside or outside this will become quite complex so to make it more logical to make it more easier this is one of the good solutions in finding the overlapping area of the rectangle uh, and to know the complete area you just have to understand about the union and the intersection part then the thing becomes easy so that's for today my dear friends <clears throat> do subscribe like the video share because knowledge increases by sharing do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell button icon for these kinds of videos the learning videos 
and uh, see you soon and signing off thank you so much bye bye